I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power. Defile not my sanctuary. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. Okay? And sin is transgression of the law. So if you transgress the law, that's a sin, and the Lord's going to destroy you for that, lest you repent. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For God shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against them. Behold, a horrible vision, and the appearance thereof from the east, where the nations and the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Okay? So the nations are going to rise up against Babylon and uh, against spiritually Egypt, which is America. All right, you look at your dollar bill, it has a pyramid on it. America is spiritually Egypt. Okay? America is also spiritually Babylon and Sodom and Gomorrah. All right? So the nations are going to come against America, cause havoc. Verse 30. And also the Carmenians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. And with great power shall they come and join in battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. Okay, America, the modern day Assyrians is, is Esau. Okay, the so-called white man. Okay, spiritually. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand remembering their nature and if they shall turn themselves conspiring together in great power to persecute them, then shall be troubled and keep silence from their power and shall flee. Salah. All right, now we're going to uh, pick up another verse. Second Edges, chapter 16. Starting at... Uh, Verse 70. For there shall be in every place, and in the next city shall be great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Okay, so they're going to try to put the men of the Lord to death, man. For they shall waste and take away their goods, and shall cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold is tried in the fire. All right? So they're going to try us, man. We're going to be tried like gold in the fire. All right? And what's that? And what's that fire? It's Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire. And acceptable men in the furnace have adversity. Okay? So that's the fire the Lord's going to try us through. Adversity. He's going to bring adversity upon this land. All right? Because this land is wicked. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 73. Then shall they know, then shall they be known who are my chosen. They shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Okay? Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over the bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns, that no man may travel through. Okay? So when you cover with your sins and transgressions, the Lord is not going to deliver you from these troubles that he's bringing upon the land. All right? He's not. So the famine 
that's coming upon this land is going to be so bad that people are going to be eating their own children. Okay? Isaiah 9 and 20. And ye shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry. And ye shall eat on the left hand and they shall not be satisfied. They shall every man eat the flesh of his own arm. Okay? That's how bad the famine is going to be when the Lord sends the famine upon the land. All right? That's how bad it's going to be, man. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the real Israelites the Bible speaks of. Okay? Let's get more precepts on famine. Isaiah 51, starting at verse 16. I have put my words in thy mouth, I have covered thee in the shadow of mine hand, that I may plant the heavens, and lay the foundations in the earth, and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. Okay? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Israelites the Bible speaks of. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of his fury. Thou hast drunk in the dregs of the cup of trembling, and wrung them out, and there was none to guide her among all the sons whom she hath brought forth. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she hath brought up. These two things are come unto thee, who shall be sorry for thee, desolation, and destruction, and the famine, and the sword. By whom shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted, they lie at the head of all the streets, as a wild bull in the net, they are full of the fury of the Lord, by rebuke of thy God. Okay? So the Most High sent in the sword, death and destruction, and sin. Alright? Jeremiah 11 and 22. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters shall die by famine. Okay? So the Lord is going to punish those who don't come back and keep his laws unto the commandments. Okay? I'll read it again. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. Young men shall die by the sword, and their sons and daughters shall die by famine. Okay? Back. Jeremiah 14, 12. It says, When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Okay, the Lord's going to do that to you wicked people. Okay, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, the real Israelites the Bible speaks of. If you don't come back and keep his law, statutes, and commandments, the Lord's going to destroy you. Straight up. Jeremiah 16 and 4. They shall die of grievous death. They shall not be lamented. They sh neither shall they be buried. But they shall be as dust upon the face of the earth. They shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. And by their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth. Okay? So, so that's how bad the judgment is that the Most High God is going to be upon the earth. All right? The only way to prepare yourself is to get right and keep your God that's the command. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 21. Therefore deliver up their children to the famine, 
and pour out their blood by the force of the sword. Let their wives be bereaved of their children and be widows, and let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. Okay? So any of y'all going to war for, for Esau, so-called white man, if you're not right with the Lord, you're going to be put to death. Alright? Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah, verse 20, I mean chapter 29, starting at verse 17. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and I will make them like vile figs that, can, that cannot be eaten, they are so evil. And I will persecute them with the sword, and with famine, and with the pestilence, and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth. Okay? So that was a curse upon our people. To be a curse, and an astonishment, and a hissing, and a reproach among all the nations whither I have driven them. Because they have not hearkened to my word, thus said the Lord, which I have sent unto them by my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, but ye would not hear, said the Lord. Okay? So, verse 20. Hear ye therefore the word of the Lord, all ye of the captivity who I have sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. All right, and we are in Babylon today, man. America is spiritually Babylon. Okay? Any spiritually discerned person can tell you that. So we must get right with the Lord and keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, so when the Lord sends these nuclear missiles upon Babylon, aka America, it's, it's gonna be perpetual desolation. Hello? Jeremiah 25 to 13. And I will bring upon that land all my words which I have pronounced against it, even all that is written in this book which Jeremiah hath prophesied against all the nations. For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also. And I will recompense them according to their deeds, according to the work of their own hands. Okay? So don't let nobody fool you. God judges you off your works. All right? Verse 15. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel unto me, take the wine cup of this fury at my hand, cause all the nations to whom I send you to drink it. Okay? So the Lord's getting ready to judge this whole earth. And they shall drink and be moved and be mad because of the sword that I will send among them. Then I took the cup of the Lord's hand and made all the nations to drink unto the whom the Lord has sent me. Okay? So the Lord's going to make all the nations drink of the earth. I'm going to skip down. Okay, I'm going to skip down to verse 30. Therefore prophesy against them all these words and say unto them, The Lord shall roar from on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout as that they treaded the grapes 
all the inhabitants of the earth. And nor shall come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord hath a controversy with the nation. He will flee with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, saith the Lord. All right? So God's going to flee with all flesh, man. Verse 32. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation. A great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. Okay? Verse 33. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. It shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. Dung is like poop, man. Okay, so that's how the Lord said the bodies are going to be upon the earth. All right? And that's the judgment that the Most High God is about to bring upon this earth. Amos chapter 8 verse 11 Behold the days come, saith the Lord God That I will send a famine in the land Not a famine by bread Nor a thirst for water But they hear the words of the Lord Verse 12 And they shall wander from sea to sea And from the north even to the east They shall run to and fro To seek the word of the Lord And they shall not find it Okay So the Lord's going to send a famine of the word. So if you don't want to listen now, it's going to be too late when the prophets aren't out here to warn the people. Okay?